summer in Tokyo is hot and humid, and it's somewhat a mysterious season. In Tokyo, the intense heat makes it nearly impossible to stroll outside in the sun, and the humidity leaves us exhausted. Sudden pouring rain showers often prompt us to run for shelter. However, since old days, people have developed different ways to cool down and enjoy the summer. Summer is a time when you can experience the unique charm of the season, known as Fuze in Japanese. Despite the challenging summer weather in Japan, your visit to Tokyo might leave glittering travel memory that stay with you. Today, I'd like to take you on a journey through one summer day in Tokyo, showcasing how you can enjoy your trip during the summertime, with some tips to stay cool and safe in the summer heat. So you can make the most of your time in the summer of Tokyo. Hello friends, I'm in Asakusa, Tokyo. It's 36 degrees today. It's like having a heater behind your neck if you are walking under the sun. And it's almost impossible to walk outside, but there are lots of fun that you can enjoy only during summer. In summer, you can enjoy wearing yukata, while Japanese traditional wear kimono is more for the formal and much thicker clothes. Yukata is light and perfect for summer. It's popular among Japanese people where it to go to fireworks and summer festivals. So let's wear yukata and walk on Asakusa today. There are lots of rental kimono shops and the price was wide ranged from around 4,000 yen to 8,000 yen. So I decided to just purchase it. You might be able to find it easily on internet with better price, but it's great experience to ask some professional to put it on for me. This day, Asakusa had Hozuki festival. They sell these plants called Hozuki. In English, it's called Chinese lantern plant. Also, this day, Sensoji Temple was very busy as it was a day called Shiman Roksen Nichi. It was 46,000 days worth of the prey if you come to pray this day. The temple was vivid and busy with all people come to pray and also with international visitors. What a fun! I also see stores selling Hulin, a wind bell. Hulin is a little wind bell that makes sound with the wind. In Japan, this is to feel the cooling down with the sound during the humid summer season. It's a something to feel the fuze of summer in Japan. If you like it, you can also get it for souvenirs. If you proceed to the Ueno direction from Sensoji Temple, there is a Kappabashi street that the four sale stores for kitchen goods gathers. For the days of Tanabata on July 7th, they had a summer festival. People put out paper with their wish to the bamboo tree. So you see many wishes of the people hanging on the bamboo tree. There were some vendors and also the local groups in Asakusa show the performance of our Odori dance. Our odori is a traditional dance from Tokushima in Shikoku. So if you go to Tokushima in summer, you can also see the real Awa Odori festival. It's a very hot and humid day. So now I need to cool down. For dessert, let's have a shaved ice. I chose this store called Saika in Asakusa and ate strawberry shaved ice cream. It was a very hot day and nice to cool down. If you like to take advantage of summer weather, you can enjoy the pool and beach. Tokyo doesn't have many pools in the city center. But the one in good location is the Aqua Field right in front of the Shiba Koen Station. You can just float and chat, sunbathe by the poolside to enjoy the summer day. And more than anything, you can enjoy the view of Tokyo Tower. It has strict no photo policy, so I cannot show you any. It's very clean and easy to go in. Location-wise, very nice and elegant crowd. And next one is the beach. The beach right in front of the Tokyo city center is this Odaiba beach. Well, it's not the cleanest water, but beach is perfectly clean. If you rather enjoy the heat and summer more than escaping from it, the good place to come is the Odaiba beach. 
This is right across from the Tokyo city center. And you arrive here in 10 to 15 minutes. And it's not the best beach probably, it's very close to Tokyo city center. But it's a really great place to enjoy the summer heat and the atmosphere of the beach. If you want to enjoy more bathing in the water, you probably want to travel one hour or so from Tokyo. The beach that is very close to Tokyo is Kamakura's Yuigahama and beaches around Enoshima. My favorite beach is a little more off the crowd. It's called Ishiki Beach in Hayama. You can access here by the bus from Zushi Station. It's located right in front of Imperial Family's summer house and you see amazing view of Mount Fuji. And you can enjoy drinking at one of the beach houses. In summer, they build beach houses on major beaches, so you can choose your favorite beach houses and pay for the local shower and usually you can take a rest and eat there too. After you enjoy the summer in the morning, let's cool down as you eat lunch. Summer food in Japan is either eat something cool like a cold noodle or eat something considered to be nutritious like eel or something spicy. Today, let's go to Tsurutontan. It's a very popular udon noodle restaurant that you can find similar stores in central Tokyo. I went to one in Ginza Tokyo Plaza. They have a special summer menu with shaved ice on it. Their udon is famous for huge bowl. It was a little bit too much cooling down for me. Now it's getting a little too cold. <laughs> when it's humid, it's also good to try something spicy. Another store I visited is a ramen shop in Daimo called Tank. I tried cold tan tan men noodle. It's spicy sesame soy milk taste with some coriander. It's really good and only available in summer. The heat of summer gets the most intense in the afternoon around 1 p.m. The sun is strong and you better not to try too much. So probably it's a good idea to take a rest in your hotel or escape to somewhere cooler place during that time. Let's find out somewhere indoor that you can cool down. There are some places you can escape from heat in Tokyo. Station mall like Tokyo Station, Sunshine City in Ikebukuro, big museum like the National Museum. And what I chose is aquarium. There are similar aquariums in the city, such as Sunshine City, Sumida Aquarium, under the Tokyo Sky Tree, and Shinagawa Aquarium. I decided to go to the one in Kasai, operated by Tokyo government. Tokyo Sea Life Park is about 5 minutes walk from Kasai Rinkai Coin Station of JR Keio Line. One station before my Hama Station that is next to Tokyo Disneyland. The aquarium features a big tank that you can see tuna fish swimming. And lots of exhibitions that you can see the sea life of Tokyo Bay. But the winner of the day is here. Shallows Hopfish. It's called Tobihaze in Japanese. It's the main character of Tokyo Bay. At least for me. The aquarium facility looks a little bit dated, but in 2028, a new aquarium will open right next to this building, featuring even larger tank of the tuna fish. There are some things I want you to be careful during the summer travel. To protect yourself from the heat, make sure you cover your head with a hat or cap. If you don't like them, you can also consider carrying an umbrella for the sun. This one I got for about $10 at the convenience store and it's a design that men also carry. Also, this is good for both rain and sunshine, so it's always good to carry one with you. Make sure you are stay hydrated. Fortunately, you can find a vending machine everywhere, so make sure you drink before you get thirsty. Also, if you feel too hot, go into the convenience store which usually well air conditioned, and cool down your body as you purchase drinks. In summer, it's nice and cool when you get into the train, but if you stay long on it, sometimes it can be too cold. In that case, you can choose this weak air conditioned car. 
Most of the train has weak air conditioned car with the logo Jack Ray Bosha, usually around in the middle. So many ladies and senior passengers choose this train, and many men, including me, avoid this train in summer. As the sun goes down, it becomes one of the most enjoyable t i m e of the day. The air cools down a bit, and a warm summer breeze somehow opens up people's mind. In Tokyo, there are lots of festivals that you can join too. That is Bondori. In summer, almost every neighborhood in Japan h a v e this Bondori festival. And it's something everyone goes in summer since childhood. Usually it starts after dark, and anyone can join the line. And it's a simple dance that you can master as you keep trying seeing others dance. So you might hesitate, but I recommend you to join the dance. The moment you join the line, You become part of the culture from just an audience. I'm sure it will be a great memory of one summer evening in Japan. Dinner. You can go to beer garden or choose outside table in old style bar. You can enjoy it winter too, but it's something really fun in summer. At the end of the day, on your way back to your hotel, you can stroll the town of the Tokyo. It's warm, so you can walk endlessly to wherever you want in Tokyo. My favorite spot is Tokyo Tower. I hope this video could give you some snapshot of how to enjoy summer travel in Tokyo. You see a different side of the city depending on when you visit. If you have a chance, I hope you visit in different seasons. Thank you for watching. Have a great trip to Tokyo. Have a great week until the next video.